Okay. Hello. So my name is John, and I represent Bolinga, which is one of the tools that Adi just introduced, like uh, AI for for this amazing work of virtual production, and in particular for the future of of virtual production. It's like a mix of artificial intelligence, in particular generative AI, uh, reality capture and computer graphics, which is then necessary to build these 3D models to then use in, in virtual production. So briefly, well, Bolinga is a startup, a startup from Spain, and uh, we combine these tools, these buzzwords like machine learning, deep learning, neural work networks for artificial intelligence and for virtual production in particular, I mean, and with that, it is possible to capture different realities, to capture different environments. And actually, with this technology, which is Nerf and Gaussian splatting that we will see afterwards, it is possible both to capture objects, people, animals, and environments, and then be able to shoot them in virtual production studios like this one. So. What it does is generate a 3D model of that environment that actually it's a combination of 2D pictures from any perspective. So basically you, you get the like the 3D model, but at much uh, lower, lighter computer size. So with many advantages that that involves also in terms of lightning, in terms of realism, as different from the classical photogrammetry that is used for virtual production. Let's go step back and where we come from. I already mentioned we are a spin-off, uh, a startup from Spain, from Marquimia Research Center uh, in the Canary Islands, the beautiful Canary Islands of Spain. And we have been researching since March 2020 this technology called NERF, Neural Radiance Field, that first appeared with no practical uh, use case at first, but that then has been used, uh, and many of you, can probably have already seen in LinkedIn or in Twitter amazing videos generated with with this, and now there is a trend with new technologies and new applications of it uh, coming. But we have been focusing since the early beginning and since all this time for media and entertainment, and we saw the first the main application in virtual production studios. So basically, yeah, studios like this one, all kind of LED screens were our 3D models generated with neural radiance field at first, and then uh, oncoming technologies uh, generate that reality, and then you can shoot on top of it. So let's explain briefly without getting too technical, which is what is this technology. Uh, I already mentioned NERF. Uh, what it does is with a, with a few pictures, which actually can be a, a short video, capturing a, a real environment or a real object. We focus more on, on the environment and on the, on, on the, yeah, on the background of, uh, to then be shoot uh, here at, at a virtual production studio, but it can also be used to uh, capture any kind of object, animal or people. And uh, there are, this was back from March, 2020. There has been many improvements also in terms of relining, in terms of different particular applications and particular technical details that, that were not that were much challenging, much more challenging at first. And then suddenly August 2023, last year, uh, a new technology appeared called 3D Gaussian Splatting, basically doing almost the same, but with a different technical approach. And the results are usually much better and not only better, but also quicker. So us at Bolinga and many other people in researchers, mainly in the industry, try to incorporate it in their workflow as soon as possible. So we incorporate it in our tool as early as October 2023. And now more, most of our improvements has been regarding Gaussian splatting more than neural writing spill. But yeah, which also allows actually other, other applications, other features like meshing and having kind of a mesh of, uh, of, the, of the environment and then allowing to make small changes in terms of size, in terms of removing some objects or, or, similar, or similar things. So this technology is what uh, fits Bolinga 
I already explained mainly like it's the possibility of creating 3D models, 3D environments much quicker and much uh, cheaper. We have estimated like a, a reduction of 100 times in this particular aspect of, of 3D environment creation, which actually can be even more because it is usually it takes several weeks, several engineers uh, working on it. And now you can do it just with a two minute video and maybe 30 minute training. So yeah, the reduction of the time and cost can be much <laughs> more than the 100 actually. And as I mentioned at the beginning, we have been focusing on this industry, uh, on virtual production, because we saw that's one of the main applications. Other people in the, in using this technology and researching this technology have been involved in real estate, in object 3D modeling. So there are many possibilities and the technology is, once you get into it, it's pretty amazing. But as I said, we are focusing on this, on this industry. And that means not only tailor fitting the technology itself, but also our approach and our uh, what we offer. And we understand that also privacy, for example, is one of the biggest concerns. And and where you're you are shooting a, a movie or or a, a TV series or even an advertisement, that data has to stay local. So that's why we also launched it, you new know, local desktop versions that actually will be officially launched next week. So so great news also coming from here. And and yeah, uh, I already explained, but uh, explained, but basically here you can see the, the usual workflow, taking pictures, uh, dropping it into our creator, can be online or can be desktop version, and then getting the 3D model that uh, that you can that you can move through it. And we will see a quick example. This is a real video footage taken with a with a with a smartphone actually by our CEO in Los Angeles. So you can see that the quality it's not necessarily the best. You can see that it's quite challenging. There are reflections. It's at night. Now uh, you will see it's only like a minute video long. You will see a person passing by, which complicates much this uh, the the creation of the of the three D model, but Still, the results are pretty amazing, and this was done, yes, one minute video, 30, 40 minute training, and we got this. In this case, in Unreal Engine, but it can be directly in render stream by these guys or other solutions. And this is not a real footage. So this is uh, like moving through through Unreal Engine. You can get any perspective, any, any kind of uh, zoom. Actually, at one point, I think now, uh, you can change also some parameters that Unreal Engine or Bolling Editor allows. Here it's changing the focal length. You can see this change. So all these changes can be done as if you would do it with a real camera in a real scenario, which is actually like having the, the, the real scenario in your computer or in, in your studio. And this allows, well, many, many opportunities. We will see some use cases, but actually we see new and new uh, use cases and examples and applications of this technology from from the industry itself. So, for example, uh, not only for the virtual production in camera VFX uh, production part, but also in pre-production and post-production. In this case, some of the wait, sorry, some of the some of many people and actually even from the early beginning when the technology was still improving, a uh, used Bolinga and used Nerf and Gaussian splatting to uh, plan and uh, plan the production of of some footage that would be in the in the same in in place. I mean, so so yeah, you can get the perspective, all the perspectives. You can be like in the scenario, which means that you can plan where you you're gonna put the cameras. The director of photography can can plan all the details at let's say twenty different scenarios without having to move the whole team there. So let's say an example, you want to shoot at some historic places, let's say Angkor Wat in Cambodia, the Coliseum in Rome, Machu Picchu or wherever. And instead of having to move the whole team there, you just record two minute video of its, of its place, of its scenario. And then the team can plan all the production and then be much more efficient once there. And same also with some particular locations that maybe you cannot move a whole team there. 
or you cannot move, let's say, for an advertisement, you cannot put a car into the Roman Coliseum, but maybe you can record the video and then have that scenario and that car in, in, a, in a virtual production studio like this one. So the possibilities are, are a lot. And as I said before, like we are seeing, we saw one of our first users from Japan. He used it for a, for a very particular video drone shooting. So, so he wanted to do something that was not impossible, what was not possible actually with, with real cameras because her, his drone would get crashed. So you can have like the reality in, in a virtual production and still have new, new new use cases and new new possibilities of recording the the video itself, and also in post production, for example, uh, to take to get the backlog of the different scenarios, and instead of having to move the team back to that particular scenario, maybe uh, have it recorded already the real the three D model. Let's see also, and uh, next week I was mentioning before we we will launch. The, the desktop version that's already uh, published, but also the possibility of editing in Bolinga. So that means you create the 3D model with our NAR for Gaussian splatting. And if you want to remove certain objects, if you want to change the size of certain objects, if you want to remove some imperfection that sometimes appear with this tool, you will be able, this is some of the examples, and the video capture that I already mentioned, but now you will see that if you, well, how, how you can use it also with multiple videos of the same same scenario and as, as easy as, as drag and dropping. And if you get some kind of imperfection for any reason, maybe if it's not correctly recorded with Bolinga Editor, you will be able also to remove those, those parts or, as I said, change the position, the size, rotate different, uh, different, different objects. And uh, as I said before, also ready to, to integrate it in, in render stream by these guys, also in Unreal Engine, and uh, to be able to use it in virtual production studios like this one. So I think many, 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 many things are changing lately. You also see other technologies such as Sora by OpenAI, which can be combined with NARF or Gaussian Splatting at some point. So all this moving industry, all this news, I think something important to be to be updated, to be to be using them, using them as much as possible to understand and to be prepared for the future of of virtual production. Thank you.